Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Quantum GK. I'm your host, Donna Reyes. This evening, we have a very special guest. She is the Community Development Coordinator for Sultan Kudarat and also a Gawad Kalinga Officer for South Central Mindanao. Please welcome Gabi Tombok. Hi, Gabi. Hello, po. Good morning or good evening. Yes, <laughs> good morning. <laughs> yes. Good morning sa lahat ng mga nanonood for all of those of you who are watching from the Philippines. And good evening to us here in the U.S. Thank you for joining us, Gabi, tonight. Thank you din po for this opportunity na maimbitahan ninyo. <laughs> and we're excited uh, for to hear your story of what you have to share with us about your work in Sultan Kudarat. So first question ko sa iyo, Gab, let's just, uh, uh, just to get things started, um, a lot of people in GKUSA may not know you. I'm sure marami kang mga fans. <laughs> fans talaga. Philippines, right? Um, but for those people who may not know you, um, were you, were you born in Mindanao? Ah uh, yes ma. Ah uh, yeah, opo. <laughs> yes ma. Ano po ma? Magbing sir. Opo. Um I was born and raised po here in Takorong City, Sultan Kudarat. Bali uh province of Sultan Kudarat and we are from South Central Mindanao na po. For those po hindi uh, aware kung nasa na Sultan Kudarat, parang nandun na po kami sa pinakamababang part ng mapa. Ayan. Neighboring areas are Cotabato, yan, General Santos. Yan. Yeah. Actually, nakarating na ako ng North Cotabato. Tsaka wow. Kitaan. Malapit ka ba doon? Baka nga nakarating oh, oh, oh. ng Sultan Kudarat eh. But that was many years ago. Siguro, I was I. 19 and I'm 48 now. So mga oh. years ago na yan, mga 49 na ako this year. So about 30 years ago when uh when I went there and so just for for us, you know, who probably have never been to Mindanao or only have heard stories about it, right? So let me start. When I was going to ano to Mindanao, we were uh we were going to climb Mount Apo. Wow. <laughs> yes, nung time na yon, um, well, I was a student activist, I'm still an activist, um, but I was a student activist and we were, uh, no, actually, um, we, were, we were there to support our brothers, or our Lumad brothers and sisters, right? And so, mm-hmm. uh, naalala ko noon, my mother was so afraid for me to go, pero mapagpalaya ang aking nanay. <laughs> Very supportive. So even though she was scared, you know, because she heard a lot of stories about Mindanao. She has never been to Mindanao herself, at least at that time. Um, she just said, okay, mag, mag, ka na. Siguraduhin mo, you know, when you, you take the plane back and forth. I did not, I took the plane going, coming back, I did not take my plane, ano, yung, yung return ko, nagbarko ako. Because everyone wow. was taking, you know, the barko. So, okay. But, you know, I think those fears are maybe, I guess, understandable, right? Um, not sure if they're valid, but I would think they're understandable because I was not born, we're not born in Mindanao. We're born in Luzon in Pampanga specifically. Okay. Mm-hmm. For those people who may not who may not be as familiar with you know, with Mindanao, are those fears valid, right? Like for people to travel to Mindanao, for example. Um yes. Uh, valid naman because maybe hindi naman namin tinatago hindi namin din na there are there are there are incidents naman na na nagkakaroon ng uh, hindi magandang uh, scenario or may mga um and hindi 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 maiwasan no uh, very mm-hmm. ano yun siya hindi ko nga alam eh, if <laughs> if dahil kinalakihan ko na <laughs> parang normal na lang <laughs> In, hindi naman sa ganun uh, of course even us here uh, may takot may takot din naman kasi uh, syempre uh, hindi lang yun para sa amin especially those 
uh, mga kababayan natin no, na nandun talaga mismo sa area. Uh, pero hindi naman po siya ganun talaga ka... ka uh, like, like for example, may nabalita na may putukan or somewhere in Rajabuayan, but that doesn't mean na the whole area. May, may mga ano lang yan sila, mga uh, areas lang, like malitan lang na, na, na ano hindi naman ibig sabihin na talagang panic at lahat ay eh, ano uh, ma, matakot yan uh, yun na yun lagi eh parang normally even nung nag-aaral ako ng college kasi I studied in Cebu so unang tanong nila sa akin na saan ba daw sa mapa yung Takorong yung Sultan ko darat <laughs> so nung na mention ko na near sa Cotabato. So parang ang picture nila of our area ay bulubundukin yung mga ganun. But hindi naman po. Hindi po. Yeah. <laughs> Patag na patag po yung area namin. Eh, meron din meron din sibilisasyon. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> naman! Even at that time, this was, what, 1991, diba? 30 years ago. Opo. Maano naman na, sobra naman ng maunlad. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. very progressive cities at least the ones that we you know, went to I think you know I really think we've, I've been to Sultan Kodarat and that was definitely a city already I can just imagine the development <laughs> that happened from 30 years ago to now right oh. but also at that time again 30 years ago and this is in North Kota um you know, like stores would have like their the the, the security guards are uh, military, you know, mga soldiers, military men, ang mga guards sa ano sa mga stores. Ganon pa rin ba? Is... Hindi na po, hindi na po. Yung oh, normal na mga na mga guardia or mga yeah, so security guards. Security guards mga, yes, one. like 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 sa mga mall din in Manila or in big cities, yung naka blue and white na mga ano person personnel okay okay so yeah so there's a there's been a lot of changes obviously in terms of security right yung mga oh, a lot yeah. safer to travel to, to Mindanao and then for me and maybe also my mom again like I said my mom uh she's very progressive ano kasi siya din siya progressive uh din ang kanyang uh, thinking no so she wants me to also uh travel my own journey, so to speak, my own path, di ba? Um, but we both think, I remember her saying also, uh, years after, she didn't tell me she was scared until years after. She did not want to show na, na, you know, that she was afraid for me. Um, I was much older, much more mature. Um, that's when she tells me na, she figures, you know, um, kung, you know, if something were to happen to me, di ba? Ang disgrasya, di mo mapapaalam eh. Okay. Apo. If something's gonna happen to you, something's gonna happen to you. Ganun talaga, right? But you take as much precaution as you can, obviously, right? You connect with the appropriate. I remember China uh, sharing this. You you connect the appropriate, you know, people. Yes. Diba? Yes. Maski naman, maski naman sa kamay nila, diba? You don't go to like a strange place. Na you don't know anybody there, right? So, or anywhere in the world when you travel, right? You have to connect to the appropriate um people right yes. okay. so um so okay so let's let's talk about your work uh in Gawad Kalinga you're the coordinator community coordinator right community development coordinator for Gawad Kalinga what does that exactly mean and you're also the community officer for southern Mindanao Ama. Uh, opo, south central Mindanao south central Mindanao I'm sorry and then also involved with kusina ng kalinga. In fact, may make ano ka na dito, question ka na. Uh, <laughs> chat. But before we get to that, um, what are those roles and why are you doing so many things, you know, at the same time? Um, ano lang naman po, being uh, the community co development coordinator, uh, you basically work, you work with uh, different communities like GK sites mga ganyan, and and working with the uh, barangays or the LGU so parang lahat ng programs ng Gawad Kalinga uh, bale ako y yung uh, role mo as the community development coordinator ikaw yung para mag 
magano with, with the partners kanyan. So lahat ng programs for ng Gawad Kalinga, hindi lang specific for KNK or sa Sipag, pero sa lahat po ng project ng or sa lahat po ng programa, ayan, ng Gawad Kalinga, bale, yun po yung inana mo with the partners with the LGUs, kung saan area ka na assigned. Like for me, I'm assigned for the uh, province of Sultan Kudarat. So whole of Sultan Kudarat yung yung hinahandle ko. Yun. Mm-hmm. And being part of uh, South Central Mindanao, five provinces kasi yon under uh, kami with Kuya Noel Grinio as our area team leader for South mm-hmm. Central Mindanao. Yun. So, okay. So, kasi itong June, this whole month of June, we're featuring people who are involved in, um, let's say, you know, Bayanihan Build or like... Uh, and the top is that... Last two weeks, actually, uh, we featured um, two people from here, from the U.S., who are coordinating or, or who are leading people to the Philippines for the, you know, for a Bayanihan bill. Today or tonight, man, so we, we, we uh, wanted to talk to you about, you know, about Bayanihan bill in, in Mindanao, in your area. So, sabi mo, katatapos lang. How, how, kumusta naman? Um... Bali, lahat naman, lahat naman, marami din namang, ano, uh, in different areas, marami nagbumo, bumo din ng team. And yun nga, every week kasi merong para mga activities na ginagawa. Kahit na hindi nagkikita-kita, kasi nga hindi naman allowed na mag-travel or ano, in in their own respective area, pwede nilang gawin. Like, no, basic lang naman, napakadali lang naman yung mga activities always sa mga bayani challenge, no? Like, for example, street cleanup, ganyan, tree planting, mangrove planting. So, basically, pwedeng-pwede naman kasi natin yung gawin kahit nasa paligid lang natin, nasa bahay lang natin, di ba? Magtanim, ganyan, maglinis, nakapaligiran, yan. So, different activities. Uh, na nandun pa din yung yung ano ng gawad kalinga no no uh, like for example yung zero carbon so yung paglilinis ng kapaligiran ganyan and be- specifically one one activity kasi yung parang plugging yung tinatawag na plugging na while walk uh, running yata yon na yeah. namumulot ka ng plastic na mga basura sa paligid. So, nakakatuwa nga kasi nakikita ko na pinupost ng some of friends na rin sa Facebook na ginawa nila yun. Alam, river, sa mga bundok-bundok, nandun talaga sila. So, alam mo yun, ginagawa mo yung kinahihiligan mo, like for example, walking or yeah. mountain climbing. Pero, the same time, may, may nagagawa ka. Yeah. Oh, yeah. May nagagawa ka for for our environment and for for your community or for your country so it was a it was a, a big opportunity or a privilege no na air we're in may pakita natin yung love for our environment love for our countrymen and love for our country na hindi na hindi tayo nilimit ng pandemic yan hindi oh, tayo yeah. nilimitahan ng pandemic to do those things na uh, for na with it, na para sa atin ay malaking bagay no mm-hmm. na may pakita natin pagmamahal natin sa malaking nice. bagay <laughs> no so, that's, that's that's amazing kasi nga i was going to ask you i was going to say na siguro limited lang you know the things that you are able to do because of the pandemic but you're able to also find a way around it na you know yes. it, 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 it naman gawin kagaya nga nung kung talaga namang naglalakad ka na or you love to run or you know naka- oh, oh, oh. Na, you do something good for your health and then also oh, oh. you're able to you know help oh, oh. um you know protect the environment di ba okay so okay, tingnan natin kung sino yung unang question ayan this <laughs> question is from Tita Josie Disterhoff Josie Disterhoff oh hi Tita Josie <laughs> Yes, actually very passionate to Tita, Tita Josie in okay. uh, working uh, with, uh, you know, Mindanao. Um, okay, so sabi niya, wonderful to see you. Thank you again for showing us your original 
PNK Kitchen in Marawi, the schools you distributed meals to, and especially showing us Marawi, oh, sorry, especially showing us Marawi Central, where the devastation occurred. You and Father Ben were the best guides to the place. Kumusta na ang Marawi Centro? Ayun. Uh, ano, thank you, thank you, Tita Josie, no, na tinatanong mo yan. Kasi ano, ako din, uh, parang magandang opportunity din ito no, na may parating sa inyong lahat na yung mga kababayan nating Maranaos in Marawi are um, paunti-unti na nakababalik sa kanilang mga tahanan, sa kanilang, mga, sa kanilang lugar, and uh, paunti-unti din silang nag, nakapag-umpisang bumangon. Ayan, so very positive yung nakikita kong picture around Marawi. And siyempre think Pwede ko na bang agad-agad <laughs> banggitin na maraming maraming salamat for GKUSA for helping. Uh, kasi until now, na nag-pandemic, tuloy-tuloy yung support ninyo para sa mga learners ng Marawi. Ayan, sa elementary students ng Marawi. Kasi as of this school year, we're serving uh, 2,000 2,000 plus of vegetable pack. Ayan, so wala mang face-to-face -face sa mga klase, walang hindi nakakalabas si mga bata pero nagawa natin ng paraan na makapag-reach out for them. So vegetable pack yung binibigay instead of cook food where nagno naman talaga yung programa ng kusina ng Kalinga. No? So maraming maraming salamat po sa, sa support, sa lahat po ng sumusuport sa inyo sa programa ng kusina ng Kalinga. Especially po sa Marawi. Ayan. Na, maraming uh, salamat din sa iyo, Gabi, at sa ibang mga you know, team, team, sa staff, team, sa staff and volunteers. Um, Opo, sa mga volunteers din. Yeah, kasi ang, ang yeah, the hard work is actually on the ground, di ba? Uh, Opo. <laughs> yun yung hirap na part. Kasi kami, you know, we are, this is a privilege. This is an opportunity for us to help out, right? Pero wala kami doon. Wala kami, wala kami sa action, kumbaga, di ba? And speaking of that, si Chrissy Soplala, um, uh, or you, you know her, right? She's Chrissy. Actually, shared uh, several uh, GK groups, GK USA Facebook groups. Na you know, she remembers you. Um, I guess telling the story about how while you were feeding children, nagpuputukan pa. There was there was still you know, uh, gunfires and yeah. all of that going on, right? Opo. So kumusta naman yun? Ha? How can how how did you do that? <laughs> um, nung nagupisa pa tayo magpakain or nung mag, nung magupisa po ang kusina ng kalinga in Marawi. That was one month after na nagstart yung Marawi siege. So kung nagstart ng Marawi siege may May 23, 24 ganyan. So after a month, June 24, uh Lugumpisa po tayo mag-set up ng kitchen for the displaced learners ng mga Mara from Marawi na uh, sinalo ng Sagyaran. Sagyaran is the next municipality from Marawi. Na, <laughs> kumbaga sa mga runners dyan, tinatakbo lang nila, easy-easy lang in 30 minutes. Ayan. Kasi mga 4 or 5 kilometers away lang po ang Sagyaran in Marawi. So, and um, actually no yung tanong niyo pa is how did how did i do that or how our team did that yeah. una nang nagpiting po kami siya sabi sa sagyaran daw kami magbe-base so ako naman well hindi ako familiar sa area ganyan ginugol ko kala ang lapit lang pala nito sa Marawi <laughs> kumbaga oops para inch lang siya sa mapa titingnan ang sagyaran from Marawi uh, of course, nan, katulad ng sinabi mo, takot yung nanay mo. Your, your mother was afraid na pumunta yeah. kami. Siyempre, lahat ng mga nanay, uh, siguro kayo, kayo ng mga nanay na nanuno. Alam, naintindihan po namin ng mga anak yung fear ninyo for us. no? Um, so, 
hindi ko hindi ko sinabi sa nanay ko sa family ko kung saan kami pupun at sinabi ko lang lanaw <laughs> yung ganun lang not hindi dahil gusto ko silang gusto para magsinwalay pero ayaw ko lang sila na magworry una una are you married already or uh, sing- hindi po <laughs> Mas mahirap pag anak, pag may anak ka. I think. Oh, anak, siguro po hindi ko nagawa yan. Yeah, pero pag may anak ka siguro, di ba? Uh, uh, baka hindi. Uh, baka hindi ako nakapunta. But anyway, that yun. must still be a hard decision. To not- oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> Kasi ang akin naman po, siguro hindi naman papayag ang head or ang, ang executive director ng Gawad Kalinga na pupunta kami doon if hindi nila alam na safe. If, yeah. if walang go signal ang army, if walang yeah. go signal ang um, DepEd, or kung sinong mga dapat magbigay sa amin ng, ng pahintulot no? na, na pumasok or pumunta. Yeah. So, nagtiwala ako sa mga heads natin, nagtiwala ako sa aming area team leader, Kiko Noel, yun yun, na pumunta. As a team kami nun, hindi lang naman ako, bilang ako lang. Hindi yeah. naman ako. Pupunta doon na mag So, pumunta kami sa team. So, in two days, nakapag-set up kami ng kitchen. Two days, ganun kabilis. Oh. Ganun lang. So, of course, with the, with the, we work with DepEd naman. DepEd, um, ng, sa, ano pa yun eh, sa, during that time, with Secretary Magno pa. Even siya, hindi niya alam na ganun lang pala kalapit. <laughs> yung location namin sa Marawi. So, wow. nung dumating kami doon talaga, para kami na-welcome ng drums and bugles kasi bububububu, ganun talaga. So, parang, oh, ano yun? <laughs> tapos si, oh, oh, tapos, as in, nakikita mo from, from, from our area, yung mga usok, mga ganun, and dinig na dinig mo talaga yung, yung, ito na ba yung, ano, sabi ni Tita Josie, Kuwento mo yung first days during the war. Ito yung first days. <laughs> yes. Yes, Tita. Yeah. Yes. Opo. Ito po yung kararating-rating lang po namin talaga sa sa Sagyaran Central Elementary School. Kung saan po tayo nagtayo ng unang kaunahang central kitchen. Ayan. So, yun talaga. Yun yung, nag, yun yung parang pa-welcome. Sabi, parang na-joke pa namin na, uy, ang gro, ang tindi naman ng pa-welcome nila sa atin. <laughs> With matching, ano, pa, fireworks or whatever. At first, yun yung <laughs> nagiging, <laughs> parang may pa-fireworks. Ang aga naman ng pa-fireworks. Parang gano'n. Ay, alam nyo na, pa, na ano, nag-joke lang kayo. They, they were actually gone. Opo. So, <laughs> parang para... siguro, Dala ng takot. <laughs> Hindi naman siguro takot yun. Pero parang nagawa pa namin mag-joke. Mag-joke. Yes. Oo, in, a few, in a few, ano lang yun. Minutes lang yun actually. But after that, parang, hey wait. <laughs> This is not a joke. This is not simple na fireworks display or drums and bugles na, na nag-welcome sa atin. This is different. Parang yes. gano'n. Yes. Uh, tara na. Punta na tayo sa sa kitchen, magtrabaho na tayo. Yung parang ganun. Grabe, Gabi! <laughs> no, let me let me let me just share a quick story. You just to put, put things in perspective. I mean, I'm pretty sure again, you know, nagsimula tayo sort of, you know, setting the framing our discussion na okay, Mindanao. Okay, I think work natin sa Mindanao. But Just going there must be a very you know must be a very difficult decision. I would you know I know your heart obviously your heart is in is, is in is in helping the poor, right? doing your job, etc. As a GK full time worker, but you know um, when I was in college, okay, this was it's not even Mindanao, it was Mindoro, okay, Mount Talcon, huh? Mm-hmm. Relatively, I guess you know safer, but there were also still you know, mga, you know, there are still some people that you would avoid, di ba? So, oh. ang, ang, ang climb namin, we were climbing Mount Halcon, we were going to help the mangyans of Mount Halcon, okay? So, meron siyang stages, eh, di ba? Hindi ka naman didiretso sa peak, di ba? So, yung first stop namin, uh, the overnight kami doon, meron na nauna, there was a group ahead of us that checked out the next stop namin, to make sure that it's safe. To your point, like you said, diba, you trusted Gawad Talinga. Kami din nun, we trusted the organization who was, you know, who put it together, etc. 
at so that night they told us okay the the you know unang group came back and said okay delikado to continue but the people are waiting ganyan ganyan we can kasi nagka crossfire yata i think the day before a couple of days before or something like that i forgot again this has been over 30 you know that one is 31 years ago i was 18 so so sabi nila sa amin uh, pwede kayong you can decide to go back to the city diba we na lang maynila there will be a group who would you know uh, take us back to the city or you can decide to go diba mm -hmm. also decided to go but i tell you i vividly remember nanginginig yung tuhod ko like i was my hands were shaking i could feel my heart like talagang ano talagang natakot ako i was really really scared and to think i was 18 i did not know what danger was right and then maybe my decision to go ahead was part of that because I was so young. And, but I remember being so scared. You, you know, you look young, but you're probably not 18 years old, <laughs> right? But you have to, you know, that has to be a process for you to even think about, you know, siguro naman, you, know, you could probably say, hindi naman nila siguro ako i-judge kung sabi kong hindi ko kaya. And you're probably right, right? I'm sure you're right. People are not going to judge you if you decided I don't think it's safe for me. I don't want to I don't want to you know to go to Marawi etc. But what really made you decide to go ahead and do it? Ah. Lalo na hindi ngayon, no. Oh, diba? Oo. Actually, yung isang pinsan ko sabi niya sa akin, Ate grabe ha, pumupunta-punta ka pumupunta-punta ka pa rin dyan. Kasi even before, during sa 44, ganun, uh, lahat, lahat na rin halos yata ng mga uh, disaster. May mapabagyo, lindol, <laughs> gyera, napuntahan na namin para para mag uh, para pumunta doon si GK nakas nakasama ako parang dinojoke na nga din ako ng ibang mga kasamahan namin eh ikaw na yata ang disaster queen <laughs> kasi kung saan may may ano may disaster nandun ka na nagpapakain yung parang ganun so sabi ng pinsan ko sabi nga na, isa marami actually and uh, syempre nag-worry lang sila sa akin kung kung ano mangyari sa akin, mga gano'n. Naintindihan ko naman yung family. Naintindihan ko yung ibang mga kaibigan na, na kinakabahan din for me. Yan, gano'n. Uh, hindi ko sinasabi na hindi ako natakot, hindi ako kinabahan. Of course, nandun yun. Nandun lang, nasa gilid lang yun ng puso natin yung takot, yung kaba, yung, yung gano'n. Hindi naman sa bilib, nagbibinibingihan tayo sa, sa families natin, no? Na nag-worry sa atin back home. But, um, nung nandun na kami sa sagyaran, ito lang yung parang siguro pinaka- uh, peak ng, ng mission na, na, na so far na napagdaanan ko na experience ko. When we were in, Mara, in Sagyaran, ayan, uh, actually, yung, yung team, sila Kuya Noel, sila Mark, sila, I don't know if not, I, I think Kuya Dan is with us also during that time. Kasi, nung naset up na namin yung kitchen, after two days na nang start kami, na, na launch yung, yung program ng Kusina ng Kalinga, ah, uh, Umalis na sila. <laughs> Umuwi na sila. Well, Kuya Dan, nagtuloy-tuloy sila sa Tawi-Tawi kasi meron sila doon yung run, yung marathon. Sila Mark, pumunta ng Tawi-Tawi. Sila Kuya Noel, umuwi na nandito sa Sultan Kodarat, sa Takorong. And ako and the team ang naiwan doon. Ako yung parang mas ahead sa kanila. So, uh, yung tanong kung paano ako, na, paano ko nabuo yung decision ko to stay. Um, as what I've said, fear is just around the corner. Pero sabi ko, kung patatalo ako dun sa takot, kung patatalo ako dun sa kaba ko, uh, hindi ko sinasabi na ako lang yung pwede gumawa ng mission na to. Hindi ko sinasabi na ako lang yung may kakayahan na gawin ang mission na to. Pero, uh, I, I think I was called to do it. And 
uh, parang sino ako para tanggihan si si Lord. Kasi alam ko uh, sa work na to, sa ginagawa natin, nating lahat, maybe sa GK or sa kung saan NGO man tayo, uh, tumutulong. Uh, we're doing it not because for ourselves, not because for our, uh, for our, um, para for us na makilala, we're not doing it, doing this to be famous, but we all know that we're doing this for, for God. No? So parang, uh, sige, um, isang tabi ko yung takot ko. Sabi ko, Lord, bahala ka na sa family ko at sa bahay. Uh, bahala ka na sa, sa kanila. And, uh, syempre, di kalayuan, naririnig mo yung, yung tunog, yung sound of, the sound of the bomb, the sound of the guns. Mm-hmm. And, that's, that's five kilometers away from me. Wow. But, but for me, beside me, are these children. Na seeing them running around, playing, hearing their laughter, hearing their kantawan, hearing their voices, singing, and seeing them dancing. So I decided to listen to their voices. Kasi sila mas malapit sa akin, ba't ko pakikinggan yung tunog ng bomba? Eh, layo naman ng 5 kilometers. Itong tunog ng, itong boses ng mga kabataan na nasa palikid ko are just a meter away or even maybe sitting beside me. So, yun. Uh, yun, yun, yun yung nagbigay sa akin ng ano, uh, lakas ng loob <laughs> to stay. Because I choose to listen to the voices of the children beside me. Ag- sa kabila ng vo- sound ng bomb, which five kilometers away naman yun eh. And I'm, well, of, well, of course, kasama yun yung prayers. <laughs> And yung kasama, kasama ko dun si Kat, ang yes. Panginoon, di ba? And of course, yung prayers po niya. Iyak ko naman ako. Ang pangit ko pa naman. Siyempre <laughs> kasama namin yung lahat ng naniniwala yes. at sumusuporta sa, sa programa. So, yeah. kasama, kasama naman kayo dun eh. So, feeling ko, nandun lang din kayo sa tabi namin. Ng buong team. No? So, yun. Na until now, galing, present, galing. Ka, rin, present yeah. ka rin si GK uh, through Kusina ng Kalinga in Marawi. So since 2018? <laughs> Ay, 2017. 2018 nga yun, di ba, yung Marawi? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Kasi, I mean, you know, that's such, a, that's such an amazing, you know, story that, that you shared. Because um, I remember in 2018, ano ko yan eh, uh, mag- for 40, 45th birthday ko, July. Mag- July, 45th birthday ago. And I just, you know, I just heard it on the news. Nakita ko sa mga, syempre, kaibigan natin dyan sa GK. Nakikita ko sa Facebook. You know, I remember, like, being so disturbed by it. Diba? Tapos I can just imagine, yun nga, children who are, you know, getting hungry and everything. And um, and I did a fundraising for it. And I always felt like it wasn't really enough. Kasi magkano lang naman yun, diba? At saka, it doesn't really matter, right? Perang na raise versus yung buhay mo nung mga ibang iba pang tumaya right who put their lives on the line to help these children and it was because you know you choose to hear their laughters their you know them you know just uh, not probably having any idea of the danger that they are facing they're just happy to be fed not you know and uh, not be hungry they were so simple and not that basic basic human need, di ba? Not to be able to eat. Especially in a war like that. And, you know, thanks to people like you and your team, um, you know, because no matter how much money we raise, if there are no people on the ground like you and, and the team there, wala rin maralating yung mariraise namin pera dito, di ba? So, um, you know, but I, you know, I salute you. Actually, ito nga, gandang segue. Sabi ni Jai Nab, salute. Oh, di ba? <laughs> Hayati Jainab. <laughs> oh, sabi niya. And then she's sending virtual hugs to you and me. Virtual hug! 
Sana ati Jay, sana makarating tayo sa, sa area ni ati Jay now. Kasi oh, maganda. Nga. Ako actually, I, I really want to go back both my husband and myself. We're, we were also so inspired by Jainab's story and you know, and then now with your story, 36 minutes pa lang tayo na pupuno na <laughs> so, My heart is so, you know, full already. <laughs> Oh. Pwede, oh. pwede lang ano, meron lang ako isisingit kasi bigla ko lang naalala. Um, sure. Kasi di ba, uh, kanina nag-start tayo yung fears, kung tama ba na matakot yung ibang tao in Mindanao, going to Mindanao. Actually, sabi nga nung mga parents ng mga kabataan na nakakausap namin, nakapagkukwentuhan, even or yung mga ano na din, yung mga sadyante mismo, like mga five, grade 5 and 6, Tuwang-tuwa sila na nakakakita sila ng bisita from other places. Especially pag malaman nila na from Manila, from from other parts of Mind- Philippines, ganyan Pilipinas, they're so happy to see them. But sabi ko, bakit? Why are you so excited to see them? Dahil ba may bisita? No, hindi lang dahil may bisita. It's because nagkaroon sila ng ng opportunity ba na, ma- na maramdaman din na mayroon may, may may mga kababayan or there are there are also other Filipinos na uh, naglak- naglakas ng loob nagkaroon ng tapang to see them yung ma-feel nila na may 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 ibang may ibang mga tao din pala na nagmamahal sa amin from other parts of the country Aww. Opo, totoo po yan. Sinasabi po nila yan na sobra silang natutuwa na may, may, na may bumibisitang taga-ibang lugar dun sa, sa lugar nila. Ibig sabihin daw, hindi ba kayo natakot? Hindi kaya sila natakot, Ati Gab, na pumunta dito? Sabi ko, hindi. Dumating nga sila, di ba? Nakita nyo sila, nahawakan nyo sila, nakapag-shake hands kayo sa kanila. When, when yeah. Even yung iba nga, nahag nyo pa. So, meaning, malaking bagay. Hindi lang, actually, hindi lang siguro financial na, yeah. ano, na aspeto yung malaking na itutulong ninyo. Pero for those na, alam ko lahat naman, may gusto din pumunta, pero hindi lang talaga uh, pwede. Siguro may, may panahon yes. na makavisit din kayo din sa kanil. Malaking bagay po yun, yung presence. Kahit na siguro yes. wala pa yung presence ko, malaking bagay for them. Kasi ibig sabihin daw, uh, nararamdaman din daw nila. Kala kasi nila takot, takot talaga tayo na pumunta yeah. sa lugar din. Or hindi lang sa Marawi, in some parts of Maguindanao. Yan. Right. And, and so, yun, what's make it also really powerful is that even those people who are scared, like ikaw, hindi mo namang kinailan na may takot, tao lang tayo, di ba? Like, and, and you, actually, you know, are from there, we are from Mindanao. So can you okay. imagine, you know, people who are not from Mindanao and are not very familiar, right? And all they hear are stories. That's why I always like to bring it up. Kasi para magkaroon din ng insights yung mga tao from people who actually live in Mindanao, right? And we're not saying, oh, safe. Saan ba talaga safe? Wala naman talagang absolute na, di ba, safe na lugar, di ba? Depende ba? Ano tuloy ako, di ba? Buti na may <laughs> Um, but yeah, but of course, it's not to diminish also the work and the contribution of people here in, in the U.S. and other parts of the world who are uh, raising resources for Gawad Kaninga, hindi ba? But I, I get, you know, obviously, it just becomes even more special when uh, when people in Mindanao and even other parts of, of the Philippines, sa uh, mga ano natin, mga... mga a village residents natin to actually see people, di ba? Na, ay, ikaw pala yun. No? It's not, yun yung put, yun sabi nga na, na nakikilala mo in person. Siyempre, iba yung naririnig mo lang yung pangalan, naririnig mo, mm-hmm. oh, nakita mo, naka, kumbaga, you're able to fellowship with them, right? Um, yeah. To si uh, Dan uh, Bercasio, magandang umaga daw sa at- <laughs> Hi, kaya Dan. <laughs> hi, Dan. Magandang umaga. Tapos, Josie again says, oh, the thing that you told me first days during the war, you told me that she was from Maricel, Villanueva. Hi, Tita Maricel. That's it. So she said, how are you going Hope they are ah. recovering from the earthquake. That's it. Yes, because they also visited Tita Maricel. 
uh, sa Marawi and sa Makilala. Yan. So far, okay naman po sila sa Makilala. Um, bumabangon. Ayan. At nakapag-umpisa na sila. Ayan, nakapag-umpisa na silang uh, bumangon din. And yun nga, nagkaroon na din tayo doon ng dalawang village na nabigyan natin ng mga houses, yung mga uh, families doon na naging biktima din naman ng earthquake. Yun. So, ano pa nga, eh, nung, uh, yung, pin, yung, yung pinakahuling, pinakahuling, ano, tawag na ito, lindol, uh, nasa ano kami nun, eh, nasa, nasa Marawi. Ayan. Uh, at the same time, may training noon sila, Father Ben, sa mga school teachers ng Marawi City. So, nung last day ng kanilang training, uh, wala na kami masyadong paalaman. So, umalis agad kami, pumunta kami na makilala. And ito yung, ano din, uh, ito din yung magandang kwento doon. Kasi nga, uh, sabi nung isang staff natin doon sa Marawi, si Raida Makabiro, sila yung una-unang ano eh una-unang families na natulungan natin noon sa Sagyaran and sa din yung pioneering din yun <laughs> sila yun din yung naunang mga volunteer staff natin doon sa Sagyaran so nung tinanong ko sila sabi ko we agad kami sa ano ha sa sa Saturday or sa basta ano yun kasi pupunta kad pupunta din kami nang makilala tutulog din kami doon sa mga nabiktima ng lindol magpapakain din kami ganyan ganyan actually biro ko lang yun sa kanila gusto niyo sumama tapos sabi niya oo ba sabi ko as in ha sigurado kayo iwan niyo eh, si Raida kasi may sampung anak siya si Papa Latif meron din siyang sampung anak sabi ko okay lang sa inyo, naiiwan niyo yung family niyo dito sa Marawi, tapos sasama kayo sa akin sa, sa makilala. Noong una, naisip ko, dahil gusto lang nilang mamasyal. <laughs> well, part na din yun, di ba? Para makarating sila in North Cotabato sa makilala. Uh, part na din yun ng, ng purpose nila kung bakit gusto nilang sumama. Pero ko, sige. So, nung nagpaalam ako kina Kuya Noel, sabi ko, Kuya, sige, mag- uh, magre-responde tayo yung makilala. So, kaninong team? Sinong team yung pupunta doon para mag ano, ng feeding? Sabi ko, willing po ang Marawi staff. So, sumama ang buong team ng Marawi uh, na makilala. Kasi nga, sabi nila, kung noon, sila daw yung tinulungan natin o sila din daw yung bakwit. Tapos, ngayon naman daw, pagkakataon din daw na makapag give back sila sa help na na-receive nila, give back the love that they have received nung sila naman daw po yung bakit. So, sila naman daw ngayon yung tutulong. So, yun. First day namin in makilala, pinaramdam din sila ng malakas na lindol na hindi din magkamayaw yung ganun. So, doon nila nakita kasi kung saan school kami nagtayo ng kitchen, doon nilikas yung ibang family. So, nakikita nila na dumarating yung mga pamipamilya na mga bakwet, nagsisat up ng tent. So, tinanong ko sila. Kasi tinitingnan nila yung mga pamilya-pamilya, eh. tinitingnan nila yung mga tao. Sabi ko, ano na sa isip ninyo? Anong nararamdaman ninyo? Na nakikita nyo yan, no? Uh, para dumating yung mga tao, nagsisat up ng tent, ganyan. Tapos, sa sapit ang gabi, madilim, mo lang ilaw, walang tubig at lahat. Naramdaman din daw nila nung sila din ganun, nung sila din nag-ubisang magbakwit. Mm-hmm. Parang bumabalik daw sa kanila yung time na yon So sabi ko, hinayo ko sila magkwento. Bumabalik yung panahon na yon yung hirap, kasama yung family at lahat. Pero... Sabi nila, ano, uh, hindi din daw nila in-expect na kahit na sila din pala, wala din naman silang pera, wala daw silang maayos na trabaho, pero hindi nila alam na magkakaroon din daw pala sila ng pagkakataon na makatulong din daw. Sabi ko, alam, alam mo, alam nyo, sabi ko, hindi lang naman pera ang pwede, na pwede ninyong uh, maitulong. Hindi lahat kasi may pera. O tayo, wala tayong pera. Sila may pera. Pero hindi rin lahat may, may, pag, may time. Not all of us also have time to help. E tayo yung may time, edi eh kaya tayo nandito. Yung parang ganun. May kanya-kanya lang tayong purpose. Sabi ko sa kanila, may kanya-kanya lang tayong mission. Uh, hindi nga lang tayo para pareho. Pera man, oras man. Basta importante, 
yung yung nagtutulungan tayong nagtutulungan yeah. at saka yung purity yeah. ng heart natin to to love and to serve. Yeah. So yun, masaya naman Galing. sila. Galing. Sabi ko nga 2 weeks lang sila pero nakapag 3 weeks sila dito. <laughs> so sabi ko sa before you share that story, I was gonna say na ang mga GK residents natin or those people who have benefited from you know, the work of Gawad Kalinga, also pay it forward, di ba? Na-empower na- din kasi sila na, and na-inspire na- sila to, you know, to also give what, you know, uh, to share what, the, you know, maybe not exactly what was given them kasi baka hindi naman nilang pangangailangan. But that's what makes, you know, I I, I think that's what the make, uh, that's what makes the word beautiful also is, people really, you know, helping each other out, you know, passing on love in one way, you know, one way or another, right? Like you said, kung ano man yung kakayanan natin na maibig, yeah. di ba? Hindi, hindi kailangan financial, hindi kailangan, you know, whatever it is that we can contribute, there's always something that we can contribute, right? Because God has given us gifts and maaring some of them are unique to, to us only, di ba? So that we can share. Yes, yes. Meron pang uh, greetings from Noel Grino. So proud of you guys. Hi, Kaya Noel. <laughs> also from Tito Boy, Jose Maria Montelibano. Uh, Tito Boy Montelibano. Tito. Gabi. <laughs> and then from Tita Josie, again, thanks Gabi for showing us with our hosts, Edna and Romy Manlapas, who also support with schools sa area ninyo. And from Yellen Dionela. Wow, God, so proud of you. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> uh, was from Tito Boy again, Montelibano. My last trip before the lockdown was 15 months ago, was, was in Mindanao. And for sure, next year, we'll be there again. Oh, ayan, oh. Meron na nag nag kagad na bibisita sa Mindanao. Um, what else? From, from Carlos Capati. This is Dr. Car- uh, Charlie Capati. Hi, Tito Charlie. Um, he's actually here from Illinois also, where I'm from. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Uh, he says, I greatly admire your courage, leadership, and compassion for feeding the poor, hungry children in the midst of the Malawi rebellion. Yan. So, uh, well, so far, halos mag-50 minutes sa tayo nagkakwentuhan, Gabby. Um, you know, I'm curious to know what your background is. Kasi, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, where do you find this courage? Where do you find, you know, how did you uh, have this kind of attitude of, of um, or calling towards service? Sabi mo nga, you feel like you were called, you believe that you that God called you to this mission. But what what is your background? If you weren't a uh, Gawad Kalinga worker, what would you be doing today? Ah, <laughs> yan din yung tanong ko na hindi ko pa rin alam anong kasagutan. <laughs> um... <laughs> ako, uh, um, well, I'm a graduate of architecture, so... Uh, okay, kapit, di ba? <laughs> Pwede naman sa bahay, I guess, sa pabahay. Oo, oh, actually, yun. Yun yung, yun yung nagumpisa ako sa Gawad Kalinga. Kasi, uh, Kuya Noel Grinio is an engineer. And during that time kasi, nung bago pa lang ako sa GK, dun yung nagumpisang uh, nagbibuild ng mga bahay. So sabi ko, sabi ko nga, um, well, nakilala ko naman actually si Gawad Kalinga through the Couples for Christ pa before. So I'm I'm a member of Singles for Christ. So parang, ano lang, during the time kasi naghahanap pa lang naman kung saan, wala pa, walang trabaho, we're searching pa lang kung saan po pwede, parang ganun. And um, sabi ko nga, sabi ko, hindi ko man may practice yung yung napag-aralan ko as an architecture student na building uh, big build building big buildings <laughs> nagde-design ng malalaking uh, uh, structures or whatsoever uh, napakaliit lang nung ano eh nung mga GK houses natin de ba parang 4 meters by 5 meters lang pero still <laughs> nandun pa din yung ano nasa linya pa rin nung, nung course na, may, na, na, na natapos ko. So, parang, ano lang ah, um, uh, doesn't matter kung high-rise building yung design mo or ginagawa mo. 
or a 4 by 5 lang na bahay. Pero, uh, isipin mo na lang kung para kanino yung 4 by 5 na bahay na yun. Di ba, sa isang family din naman na pwede maka-acquire ng one unit sa high-rise condominium. Walang pinagkaiba yun. <laughs> Still giving shelter to a family. So parang doon lang nag And then, tuloy-tuloy lang kung ano-ano lang ng mga mission meron si GK, kung saan ma- mayaya, ma-invite, talad ka rin kung baga, sama-sama lang. <laughs> sama lang ng sama, sama lang ng sama. And then, uh, paunti-unti din naman siguro nare-reveal ni God kung ano yung purpose ko. Kung mm-hmm. purpose ko sa being a person. <laughs> yung parang ganun. Um, kung wala naman masyadong pinanghuhugutan. Pero there are times kasi, di ba, na may napagdadaanan tayo sa family, ganyan. So, nararamdaman mo yung Kumbaga, parang need mo, ng, need mo ng financial assistance, need mo ng kahit na makausap man lang or whatsoever, pero uh, walang, walang nakapagbibigay. So parang pag, nakaka, pag nandun ako sa, sa mission, nakikita ko lang na, ah, need ng bata ito ng ate na makakausap or need ng bata ito ng ate na ihag siya. So, yun lang. Parang Kasi alam ko naman na may, may need din yung family namin, syempre. And hindi man ako ganun financially nakakabigay. Pero alam ko naman na God is always providing whatever na need ng family. So sabi ko, sige Lord, bahala ka na sa family ko. Tapos uh, parang gamitin na lang po ako maging instrumento mo ng love for others. Yung parang ganun. So... And and giving, I back, giving back then yung, yung blessing <laughs> na nare-receive ng family. Tapos, ayun yung kaya kong gawin. Pwede mm-hmm. gawin ko. Kasi ipipilit ko sarili ko na maghanap ng trabaho sa construction. Eh, talagang wala. Eh, ito yung mm-hmm. meron. Parang gano'n. Yeah. Gawin mo na lang na yung kung ano yung pwede mong gawin para mas magkaroon ng kabuluhan <laughs> yung time mo sa sa yung time mo habang nabubuhay ka. Parang gano'n yeah. And, you know, <laughs> siguro, you might not be building, you know, high-rise structures, like you said. Sabi mo nga, you know, maliliit lang naman yung mga, mga gawad ka rin nga houses na. And they're certainly not those high-rise buildings, right? But what you are really yes. in our lives, what you are building, di ba? Kaya siguro ikaw yung, ano, ikaw yung social architecture na sinasabi natin dun sa ating... <laughs> Oh, nagkano tayo. Nasa social artist, diba? <laughs> oh, nasa social artist niya tayo. There you go. You're a social architect, diba? So, you know, seriously, you're building lives. You know, you're, you're building, uh, you're, you're, you make, uh, you help make the dreams of the poor possible because you help provide that opportunity for them. Uh, nabanggit nga namin in a, one of our, I think it might have been the episode with Tony Olaes. You know, man, you know, they, he can, he build villages, right? He can, you know, he can donate a, a village. So, so, yun naman ang kanyang taya. <laughs> Tayong taya, di ba? Um, but, you know, but I, we said that lahat naman tayo may kakaya ng mangara. We all have the capacity to dream. But the difference is that the poor does not have the opportunity to build those, you know, those dreams or to, to make those, to fulfill those dreams. And so what you do and what everyone else in your team, lahat ng ating mga saludo kami sa lahat ng gawad kalinga workers natin, all of the volunteers, especially those on the ground, you provide that opportunity for people to build their dreams, right? To fulfill their dreams so they can build their lives, di ba? So I think, you know, suerte na napaka-blessed natin sa community and all the communities that you help, Gabi, kasi nandyan ka, di ba? So, yun, kasi nandyan ka. Ngayon, well, let me just, you mentioned your, your family. Is there any, you know, like, uh, kumusta ang support ng, ng family? Okay naman ba sila? Or are they still... Like, oh, dapat architect ka na ngayon or something like that. Meron ba? 
Oh, yes. Uh, thankful din ako. Thankful din ako sa sa parents ko, sa mama ko, sa mother ko na hindi hindi niya ako, hindi niya ako ang tao nito. Hindi siya nagiging ganun ka ka Pressure? pressure sa akin na kailangan pinag-aral ka namin ng architecture dapat i-practice mo yan para hindi masayang yung yung ginasto sir walang ganun walang ganun na pressure walang ganun ako na rin sa kanya um nung una ala ko lang para nang baliwala lang sa kanya yung yung ginagawa ko dito sa GK and yung kasi parang hindi ko naman siya tinuring talaga na trabaho si GK Kasi parang pag sinabi mo kasi yung trabaho, mayroon siyang parang financial na aspeto. So parang hindi ko dinidepende yung, yung financial na aspeto or income sa, sa GK. Parang. So hindi siya trabaho na literal na trabaho. Uh, parang siyang purpose or mission. Mission, yun yung, yes. yun yung ano ko sa, sa ginagawa ko with GK. Yung ganyan siya. Kasi pag isipin ko sa bako, mag- magkakaroon ako ng, baka, baka magkaroon ako ng ibang, ibang ano, uh, baka magbago yung, yung sa loobin ko sa ginagawa sa GK. So yun. Uh, yun, blessed and thankful ako na hindi ako na pressure ng family na kailangan may maiabot ako sa financial na aspeto na need ng family. Well, in fact, sabi ko nga kanina, kaila ko parang wala lang sa mama ko yung ginagawa ko. Pero one time, uh, nakausap ko yung isang kaibigan niya. Tapos sabi niya na nagkwento daw <laughs> yung mama ko sa kanya ng pinaggagawa ko, <laughs> kung anong pinagkakabalahan ko. Sabi ko, oh, talaga ate, nagkwento sa'yo si mami. Oo, Uh, masaya nga siya na nagkikwento din na sinishare niya sa akin yung mga ginagawa mo kung saan ka nakarating ganyan tapos uh, yung, yung kaibigan din ng, ng mami ko na yun nagsabi na patuloy ka lang uh, pag narasal ko din yung kaligtasan mo yung ganun so nice. I, think, I think happy din sila <laughs> I think happy din sila sa ginagawa ko and Actually, yung isa kong pamangkin, Kayla, uh, yun, tinatawag ko siyang mission body. Kasi every time na may activity or may ginagawa si GK, as long as free siya, wala siyang uh, conflict sa school, sumasama talaga siya sa akin. And when How old is she? Ah, uh, kagag-graduate niya lang po ng senior high ngayong taon na to. Ilang taon? 18. Oh, wow. 18. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, High school siya, nakapag-participate din siya sa Bayani Challenge kasi nagkaroon dito ng Bayani Challenge sa amin. And even nakaabot siya ng Marawi. Thank, uh, thankful din ako sa kapatid ko, sa, sa parents ng pamangkin ko na pinayagan siyang sumama sa akin sa Marawi. Twice siyang nakasama sa akin sa Marawi. Nice. Okay. So, okay. Um, it's about, it's, tinam- kalimutan natin yung nervyos, di ba? One hour na tayo <laughs> yung chikahan. Akalain mo yun. Uh, okay, so I will ask you the final question. Sabihin ko na ngayon yung final question para fair, to be fair din naman mapag-isipan mo. Ano sa tingin mo yung pinaka, uh, you know, pinaka magandang taya natin dito sa, you know, sa GK USA or those, you know, maybe Filipinos who are not, you know, who don't live in the Philippines. Or maybe not even Filipinos. Kung sino man na gustong tumulong, right? Uh, pero for one reason or another, hindi pa nakakarating o hindi 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 pa nabibigyan ng opportunity na talagang to be on the ground like you do, di ba? Um, lalo na napakahirap tapatan. It's so hard to match what you guys are doing. Again, being on the ground, putting your lives on the line, etc. Right? For us, it's uh, I'm not saying again, it's not to diminish the work that people do here also, right? But the fact that we are not on harm's way is, you know, a huge deal, you know, at least, you know, for people who have children or families, we don't have 10 children na naiiwanan namin to go to another city to, you know, to fulfill the mission. But ano sa tingin mo? Maybe some suggestions on how we can, you know, how we can also help, you know. Uh, ano yung sa experience mo na, you know, what is important 
to to people na uh na you, you actually alluded to this a little bit you talk about this a little bit na kinatuwa ng mga tao na diyan when we when you know when when people visit it but okay so while you're thinking about that let me just read some <laughs> some of the announcements here too um from Chrissy Saplala Hi Chrissy Thank you for sharing that story. Caring is such a powerful thing. The former evacuees of Marawi paid it forward of the earthquake victims from Makilala. We help to empower the beneficiary becomes benefactors as well. Okay, and then from Willie, Willie Bagsansa, Bagsar. Wala. <laughs> Thanks for the <laughs> story about GK Marawi and KNK. Sobrang na inspired po ako sana makarating ko diyan. Ayun. Okay, back mo ako sa inyo. Oh, I, I guess hindi siya from there. Hindi siya from ano, baka from here siya sa US. Okay. Um also before you answer that that final question, um papa so yung bayani challenge, right? The people from all over can participate right so if people are visiting the philippines for example from here from the us or other you know or other countries they can participate in the bayani ba, bayani challenge correct so yes. is there is yes. there how do we how do they get information about that first of all ang bayani challenge every june ba siya during june um during uh, summer siya normally namin ginagawa ah, okay. pero you Uh, yung Bayani Challenge, nag-start siya uh, no, April 9. And nag-end siya no, June 12. So parang from ka ano nga ba dyan na sabi no? no, no April 9. April 9 is hindi naman araw, araw ng Bayani. Yan, araw ng kagitingan. So parang from araw ng kagitingan araw ng kalayaan. Yun. Ah, so from nice. April 12. So yun yung duration okay. ng Bayani Challenge. Okay. Ayan. So, so parang bubuhay ng team. Tapos may ano naman sa Gawad Kalinga na page na yan. So bumukay ng team and then um, gawin nyo yung mga parang challenges every week. May mga yeah. challenges kasi siya or may mga activities na na uh, ginagawa. Yan. So, ga, um, yun, gagawin ng bawat team member na hindi kailangan magsama-sama sila together. That doesn't, it doesn't so mean it's not, na the team is not together. in the community. Pero, sila. So, yung mga teams hindi naka-base sa community. Po. Parang, yung teams na yan, they're not... Hindi based. naman po, hindi kailangan naka-base sa community. Okay. But they can get information at org dot com Gawad Kalinga. Anong website nga ng Gawad Kalinga? Dot org ba o dot com? Nawawala ba? wala po. Ay, nawawala ba ako? Uh, maybe we can just type na, that. Putol, putol lang po. Okay. So, ngayon okay na? Okay. Okay, oh, okay na po. Okay. Baka may delay lang. Okay. So, we'll just put the, the website of Gawad Kalinga on the chat box, on the comments, oh. um, so that people can find out about the Bayani Challenge. So, next year, You know, people can participate. And so then, people from here or from all over the world can also participate depending on what the challenge is. Something like that. O sa community yes. nagawa challenge. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, any any other um, any other programs or activities, events that you want to promote before you answer the final question? <laughs> May final question pa pala. Yeah. Ayun, yeah. Uh, siguro ano lang. <laughs> siguro for those who are watching, ayan, watching talaga. And, um, um, ano lang naman is, uh, I hope na you'll continue to support all the programs of Kawad Kalinga. Uh, hindi, kay, hindi naman, hindi naman kasi restricted na lang sa pabahay yung programs ng, ng Gawad Kalinga. So alam ko yung iba sa inyo aware na of that, that we have uh, CPAG, uh, grassroots program naman po para sa mga kabataan. We also have the Kusina ng Kalinga, yan, yung feeding program naman po ng, ng GK. And uh, marami din po from ay, may Bayan Anihan. Yan. So kung saan po kayo 
Ayan, kung saan din po kayo komportable or kung saan po sa tingin ninyo uh, nandun yung puso ninyo para tumulong. Ayan. So, just continue to support all the programs of Kawad Kalina. Ayan. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, yung, so you mentioned nga kanina, di ba, na kanya-kanya tayong gifts naman, kanya-kanya tayo ng kaya or contribution. That's what you said to yes. Marawi who helped out sa makilala, di ba? Sila, they have time. So, what, what, uh, what can we do in the U.S. other than, you know, raise funds or whatever? How can we connect with maybe people on the ground, um, like with you or even, you know, that, not just the beneficiaries or the people who, um, who are, you know, from the villages or whatever, um, but maybe even for, you know, for people like you and your team and all of that. How can we build that sort of community? <laughs> para hindi ko alam para hindi ko alam kung saan <laughs> or pwede tayo mag Facebook mag chat ganyan diba? <laughs> oh, yun, uh, you can all be part uh, of the pwede, of course group. dito pwede, pwede dito tayo dun Ayan, pwede tayo dito sa Facebook kasi may mga Facebook page naman po ang gawad kalinga meron siyang Facebook page and mismo po yung kusina ng kalinga uh, may, may Facebook page din po so uh, yun i I, ano nyo lang pa sa, sa Facebook yun. So, every now and then, may pinupost din po ang, ang bawat program, ang gawag kalinga, ang sipag, ang kusina ng kalinga, kung ano po yung, kung saan po kayo, uh, kung paano po kayo, ayan, magiging part or makatulong sa programa. Uh, for kusina ng kalinga, nandyan din po yung everyday na campaign. Yan. Um, hindi lang po yun for Marawi, pero sa lahat na po yun ng ng areas kung saan meron tayong uh, kusina or kung saan po may ongoing na program ang kusina ng Kalinga. Yan. Uh, katulad po na nabanggit ko kanina, uh, hindi po lahat, uh, hindi po tayo ganun ka-blessed siguro. Siguro may, uh, may iba na blessed with the three T's. Ayan. The time, the treasure, and the talent. Kung ano po yung para sa tingin ninyo yung pinaka- kung ano po yung sa tingin ninyo mas mas meron kayo kung sa tingin ninyo sa treasure meron kayo pwedeng ma-share or kahit na nga siguro hindi niyo hindi lang basta i-share lang yung kung ano pero gusto niyo lang talagang mag-share or you can also use your talents para meron kayong ma-share <laughs> na treasure. Ayan. So, yung time, alam ko, yung time ang pinakamahirap. <laughs> Mahirap yes. talaga yung pinaka, yung, alam ko, na yung time talaga yung pinakamahirap uh, han, hanapin sa sarili natin para maibigay. Pero, uh, well, time pa din yun na may, may time pa din yun. Alam ko, may, lahat tayo may time na pwedeng ma-share. Kahit minsan lang yan. Pero, uh, if it's God's time, perfect time and perfect, uh, per, it's, if it's God's time na makashare din kayo ng oras ninyo at makapagkakwentohan yan sa mga um, mga kababayan natin at mga taong nangailangan ng ng, ng, ng panahon. Alam mo yun, kahit na nakikinig lang po tayo sa kanila, makita lang actually nila tayo, malaking bagay na po yun. Kasi for them, dahil pumunta kayo, dahil binisita nyo sila, dahil nagkita po tayo, malaking bagay po yun sa kanila. Lalo-lalo na po dun sa mga areas na bibihira lang nakakapasok yung sibilyan or ibang mga tao. Malaking bagay po yun. And if ever man po nakahanap kayo ng, ng pagkakataon, sa tingin ninyo, yan na yung, <laughs> yan na yung pinagdadasal na yung panahon. Uh, wag na po kayo, wag nyo, wag nyo na pong aksayahin. Kasi um, bit, mab, mabibit-bit nyo yun for the rest of your life. Even if once lang po yun yung na-experience. And... Um, yun lang. Uh, siguro, alam ko naman, eh, na wag lang natin ilimit. wag tayong magpatalo sa takot. <laughs> uh, kung paano natin i-conquer yung fear uh, through prayers po. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, always always lang po talaga nating uh, isama si God. Isama ang Panginoon sa, sa sa journey natin. And I'm sure he will never ever uh leave us and he will yes. really lead us into the right path and to the right person na makasama natin sa journey and as long as open po talaga tayo and really willing na mag-commit at, magbig- at magbigay ng, 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 ng sarili natin as, yes. as, as and only if we are willing and really committed to to allow God to use us as His instrument of love to other people. Uh, with God, nothing is impossible naman po. And, Amen. Amen, sister. And thank you, thank you po sa lahat po na nagtitiwala, sa lahat po na sumusuporta through your prayers sa, sa buong team, hindi lang po yung team namin dito sa South Central Manila, pero po para sa lahat. Para po sa lahat, maraming salamat po sa hindi man tayo nagkakakita, hindi man tayo nagkakausap, never pa tayo, <laughs> hindi, ko, hindi ko pa nga siguro alam yung pangalan ng iba, pero dahil na, na message lang kayo na let, let's pray for ganito, pero nagdasal po tayo. Thank you for including us in your prayers, always. Alright, nako, maraming maraming salamat. I learned so much from you, Gabby, tonight. And I'm sure here in the U.S. and also in the Philippines, your friends are also obviously. Go Gabby Tombok, sabi ni Joy. Tsaka ah. <laughs> sabi ni ito, Y.S. Ma. L. Kap, kap, kap. Ismael? <laughs> ah, Ismael ba yun? Kasi hiwayo oh, wala siya. <laughs> Kaya, yung... Mama, Mama Lampak? <laughs> Ismael, si Ismael Mamalampak. Isa po siyang staff natin sa Marawi. Si Ismael Mamalampak. Hi, yeah, Ismael. Hello. Hi. Thank you for, for joining us this evening. Maraming salamat sa iyo, Gabi. I again learned... Maraming salamat din po. You know, huwag patalo sa takot, right? Because, you know what we say in uh, in CFC, in the community, right? When God anoints, when God appoints, He anoints, right? So, uh, all we... We need to do is say yes. When, when when he calls, it's always loud, no? Parang hindi mo siya pwede talagang i-ignore. Uh, may pahabol pa si Tito Boy Montaliba, no? The demand of courage and dedication is also influenced by the environment where we work. Gabby is one brave woman. I agree. You really are. Padayo, Gabby. And uh, of course, you know, you, are, you and the rest of our... Uh, of our GK workers and the movement are, you know, are all always in our prayers. And of course, you know, if we have um, strong faith in God, then we know that, you know, that he will protect us. He will, you know, he will protect the, you know, uh, the mission, everything that we do, you know, he will bless, di ba? So, sabi uli, pahawal dami, no? Tama pumuputok yung ano natin. Comments from Tita Josie. Awesome, Gabi. Kamusta din kina Noel? Dina and June de Gayo. Yan. So on that, but maraming maraming salamat ulit Gabi. And maraming salamat din po. Maraming yeah. po salamat sa pagkakataon na ito. I hope yeah. na nagiging instrument din po ako para ma-inspire kayo. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Your your story is really inspiring and uh, and ako masarap pan. Hindi ko alam kung masarap pan tulog ko ngayong gabi o hindi ako makakatulog. But <laughs> It's it's good. It's because na-disturb I disturb do ba kay tama. <laughs> <laughs> na disturb ako uli. Alam mo ang gawin niya. Yung work natin okay. paulit-ulit ang dist ang pagdi-disturb natin. Hindi siya one time big time problem. Uh-huh. Always well, always, you know, decisions to be made, right? Good yung disturbance naman po na yun eh magandang marinig. <laughs> na disturb. Yes, yes. Sana maraming na disturb. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure maraming na disturb. <laughs> I mean, they inspire. And so with that, you know, thank you again. Thanks everyone again for joining us this evening for another episode of Quentum GK. This has been Donna Reyes with Gabby Tombok. Make it a habit every Thursday night, 5 p.m. Pacific. Join us in another episode of Quentum GK. Good night, everyone. Bye. Thank you.